Hello, my name is Dawson Church, and I'm the author of the book, The Genie in Your Genes. And I'd like to share with you some exciting new discoveries about the science of the ancient oriental technique of acupuncture. Acupuncture has been around a very, very long time. The basic text on acupuncture was written more than 2,000 years ago in China, and it describes these flows of energy through the body. There are said to be 14 meridians through which energy flows through the body, and along those meridians there are points of particular sensitivity, the acupuncture points. We're all familiar with how during an acupuncture treatment a needle is inserted at an acupoint or perhaps several acupoints throughout the body. What we also know is that pressure on the points also has an effect. So the insertion of needles is one way of stimulating those points, and pressure on the points is a second way of stimulating those points. It's found in ancient forms of massage, like shiatsu massage, which uses pressure on the points. It's also used in oriental exercise, like qigong and tai chi. In qigong, qigong masters will tap on their limbs, on their torsos, and often follow the lines of those meridians. Acupuncture came into Western awareness increasingly after President Nixon's historic trip to China. And reports began to circulate how acupuncture was used in China for pain and many other physical conditions. Also, research began to show that acupuncture had a solid base of scientific evidence. In one study done by Joey Jones and his colleagues, and reported in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the researchers inserted an acupuncture needle in the foot of a patient on an acupuncture meridian associated with vision. At the same time, at the same moment, they found using an MRI that the visual cortex of the subject's brain lit up. So there was clearly an association between the insertion of the acupuncture needle and very rapidly a stimulation of those parts of the brain. Other research also using MRI machines finds that when acupuncture needles are inserted in certain locations, the fear structures of the brain, the midbrain, the part of the brain that handles the fear response, is regulated and is calmed by the acupuncture needle insertion. However, there are still many skeptics who deny the existence of acupuncture points, meridians, or life energy. In fact, if you turn to that enormous storehouse of misinformation called Wikipedia, you can find, as of 2015, this is what Wikipedia has to say about acupuncture. Scientific investigation has not found any, any histological or physiological evidence for traditional Chinese concepts such as qi, meridians, and acupuncture points. That's a categorical statement. Scientific investigation has not found any evidence for acupuncture points. Well, Wikipedia, Jimmy Wales, and all of you skeptics out there, let's do a little demonstration to show you that these points are real. I'm going to use a device called a skin galvanometer. It's a very simple handheld device that simply measures the electrical resistance on the surface of your skin. The average resistance of your skin is about 3 million ohms. But when you hit an acupuncture point, the resistance decreases dramatically and the conductance increases. So acupuncture points have a high degree of conduction and very little resistance. We'll use that skin galvanometer, which again is a very simple handheld device which emits a tone. When I find an actual point of high conduction and low resistance, you'll hear the tone change. I'll find the points we typically use during the course of an EFT, or Emotional Freedom Techniques tapping session. I've asked my youngest son, Alexander, who's 12, to be our demonstration subject for this demonstration.
So you'll hear the sound the galvanometer emits, and the sound will change when I hit a point. I'll look for the accurate pressure points we use in EFT, the first of which is the eyebrow point. You can hear how the tone changes when I find the point, and even a millimeter away, we don't hear the tone. Side of the eye point. Under the eye point. Under the nose point. and the chin point. Thank you, Alexander. Your first starring role. So the take home message here is that acupuncture points are real. You can measure them. They have special electromagnetic properties and they've been part of healing for thousands of years and still are through traditional methods like acupressure and acupuncture as well as new techniques like EFT. Thank you.